Oh yeah, this is gonna be my second time filming this video because the past two times I've been interrupted by Discord notifications going off and people trying to call me. But, I'm purposely making this intro very weird and very not normal so that people click off because what I'm about to share with you is best kept a secret because if more people know about it, the strategy won't work anymore. Okay, um, now, for those of you who are new here, or for those of you who aren't new here, uh, first off, welcome back, okay, welcome back, uh, this is Project 7 Figures, today I think is day number 12, okay, day number 12 of me and Andreas starting and scaling the agency all the way from zero to seven figures and documenting the entire thing, and literally I've been a bit, bit quiet, we'll say, a bit, we haven't talked too much about it, and I'll share with you the insights, everything today, I'm going to share with you everything that's gone down, everything that's going down, everything that's happening, and literally everything, so you can hear and see the insights of what we're doing okay so let's start off with a little recap we still have zero clients we still have collected zero dollars in the stripe account as of right now it is 12 days that's going to change very soon so uh so stay tuned because that will change but uh, essentially right now we are revamping everything like we're going through an entire rebranding if you want to call it we're changing our back end we're changing our fulfillment we're changing our offer we're changing our acquisition channel we're changing our entire sales process we're changing everything and today I want to share with you what we're changing, why we're changing, and how you can kind of, you know, go through the things we're going through and see if any of it is applicable to you and your agency. And I'm also going to share some of the lessons I've learned over the past 12 days that have really impacted the way I do business. So first off, a couple of things we're changing is we're now doing two call closes. Okay, we understood that going straight from outbound, cold outbound, to a one call close is very difficult when trying to sell something worth more than a couple of dollars. Okay, so we're now doing a two call close. It's way easier. The framing is so much better because on the first call, you're not selling them anything. You're just talking to them. It's way easier for framing and for everything else in the future. So that's number one. We're changing to a two call close. Now, do I recommend you do this? Up to you. Okay. Test it out. See what works for you. Don't just take my advice. Do what actually works best for you. Now, that's the first thing we're doing. The second thing we're doing is we're diving into... Now, I'm a big proponent and stick to one out and stick to one acquisition channel, but we want to see what acquisition channels are out there and what resonates the best with our target market. So we're testing out a few other acquisition channels to see what actually works best with the people we're reaching out to and the results that we get back. That way we can figure out which one is performs the best and then dial in on that one. So that's another change we've made. Now the change to our offer. I'm not going to tell you our entire offer, okay, because that takes a lot of thinking up here. But essentially, the premise of it is we're changing it. The entire thing is getting changed. We are changing how we fulfill. We're changing what we guarantee. We're basically changing it to try and cater more towards what these people actually want and need rather than what we think is best. So those are a couple of things that we're actually changing. Now, what's happened over the past few days? Well, the house has been burning down. Okay, I like to refer to myself over the past couple of days and people ask me, hey, Stefan, you know, what are you? What's your job? I tell them, well, listen, I'm a firefighter. Like, what the fuck do you mean you're a firefighter? You sit at home all day and talk to people on your computer. I'm like, yeah, that's because I have to put out fires all day. There's been a lot of fires lately. There's been, there's been a lot of shit going down. There's been problems and there's been stress and there's been things that have been happening. Okay, and I'm going to come on here and share those with you because, you know, every other guru out there, when they make videos like this, they only talk about the good. Oh, you know, we made 20K last month. We booked 800 meetings, this, that, yada, yada, yada. But I'm here to tell you, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. It's not always that way. It, it really isn't. No matter who you talk to, you could talk to Elon Musk. There's shit that happens, okay? You could talk to any single person. There's stuff that happens behind the scenes that you don't see because, well, the truth is about social media, people just post the best, right? People only share the best. People only share the good. The good and the great, but not the bad and the ugly. But I'm here to share with you the bad and the ugly. So the other day, we thought we hit rock bottom. Now, let me grab a sip of water here, and I recommend you guys all do the same because you guys stay hydrated. Okay, but we hit rock bottom. And what I mean by that is we thought it was coming to an end. We thought everything we'd worked for was coming to an end. Our outreach wasn't performing as well. Everyone started started uh, rescheduling meetings. We started, man, everything just went downhill. We had a bunch of cancellations on the meetings. Our outreach didn't perform. We had people staying, I'm not interested. We had people who said that they were committed flank off. And it's like everything went to shit. Okay, and in that moment, okay, for a minute there, we freaked the fuck out. Freaked the fuck out. It's like, holy shit, everything is going terrible. What? Like, it's like, the agency's going downhill. It's done. It's over. Screw the series. We're done. Okay, but, but we took a step back, okay, and analyzed the situation logically. I went, okay, hold up a minute. Let's stop. Let's not react emotionally. Let's react logically and we went okay what is the root of this problem 
And we understood that it's something we can control. And so all we did is we looked back to what is the problem, what is the root of this problem, and then what do we need to do to solve it? This is something called IDS, Identify, Discuss, Solve. And this is how you get to the root of each problem and how to solve it properly, correctly, and efficiently. And so we did that. Okay, and we started looking at all these problems and we solved them. And guess what? Our agency started to see the light again. We started to grow a little bit. We started to make a bit of progress. Despite thinking we were in rock bottom, despite thinking that we were going to have to call it quits. Now, listen, I want you to know I never fucking quit ever. Okay, but there's times where it feels like there's no other option. There's times where it feels like, oh my goodness, like it can't get worse. Right. And you guys are probably like, man, I feel you. And it's like, yeah, because that's the reality of this, right? That's the reality of, of entrepreneurs. We go through shit. We struggle. We have hard times. And a lot of people don't show that. They like to show the good, right? They only like to show the good. There's never the bad. But I'm here to tell you that there's bad. There is bad. Okay. There is bad times. There's bad things. There's bad everything associated with all this. There's times where shit's going to get tough. There's times where it's not going to go right. It's not going to go the way you plan. Everything is going to crumble down just when you thought you'd made it to the top. But that's when life is testing you. That's when God is putting you to the test saying, you know, you said you wanted to be strong. You said you wanted to make it big. Okay, let's see what you're about. That's the time where you grow the most. That's the time where you actually get to go through that barrier, where you get to go through the struggle and prove that you have what it takes to become successful, right? And so in those times, I got to remind myself, this is God just giving me what I prayed for. I pray to be strong. I pray to be tough. I pray to be successful. Okay. Well, do you think if you were making, imagine you were making a person, you like you, you got to make a person. If you wanted to make them strong, do you think that, you know, or or, whatever scenario, if you wanted to make them money, do you think that you would just give them money or do you think you'd give them skill sets and the lessons required to make the money so they could keep making money? If you wanted to make somebody strong, would you just automatically make them born strong? Would you teach them the lessons and the skills required to actually get strong so they can stay strong? You see what I'm saying here is you'd probably go, okay, if I wanted to make somebody a patient person, I probably wouldn't give them everything right away. I'd probably make them wait. It's like, okay. So maybe the tough times that are happening to you right now are just a way of God saying, here's what you prayed for. This is what you asked for. Here it is. You want to make money. You want to be successful. You want it to be different. You want it to be in the top 1%. Well, guess what? The top 1%, you got to go through shit. So it's like, maybe you're just getting what you asked for. And it's like, that's good. And so I just got to remind myself that in these times where I'm like, man, it feels tough. And I'm like, that's what I want. Because if it doesn't feel tough, I'm doing something wrong. If it doesn't feel tough, I'm probably not growing. So when it gets tough, I'm like, man, this is good. Because this means I'm growing. This means I'm learning. This means that I'm acquiring the skills that I need in order to get to where I want to go. If you want to make money, you're not just going to all of a sudden pray for money and money's going to pour it on your head. That's not how it works. You're going to go through shit that teaches you the skills and the lessons required to make the money you want to make, to make the impact you want to have, right? And it's like, if we can start to apply this principle to everything, we start looking at these quote unquote bad days as amazing days because it's like without those days, we wouldn't have the thing we want, right? Without your bicep hurting, you wouldn't have big biceps, Right, right. I mean, think about everything back in your life, everything back in the past that, that hurt you, right? At, at that specific moment in time, you probably thought this is the worst thing in the world. Life probably couldn't get worse. But in the future, when you look back, you go, man, I'm thankful that happened. I'm thankful my girlfriend broke up with me. I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that this happened. I'm thankful that, that happened. I'm thankful that all these bad things happened to me because it made me who I am today. And I'm happy for who I am today. So it's in these hard times where first off, I just want to say, yes, there's hard times. If, if you're going to jump into this space, there's going to be so many hard times. Expect that because this is going to happen. But it's in those times where you get tested. It's in those times where you truly grow to fulfill and become the person that you want to be. Right? Don't, don't, like, don't, don't you think so? Like, if you wanted to be successful, you probably wouldn't just get born successful. That doesn't teach you how to be successful. That doesn't teach you how. You just get born into it. What's the fun in that? What's the fun in being successful if you just get it all given to you? There's no fun in that. There's no journey. There's no process. There's no suffering. The suffering is what makes it so desirable. The more suffering, the more desirable the goal is. One billion dollars is harder to make than one million. Therefore, it will require more suffering. And that's what makes it more worth it, right? A a, a C-bomb aesthetic 
right, is more desirable than a fat guy aesthetic, but it's a lot harder to get because suffering, you got to suffer more to get there, right, think about how strict, how disciplined, how, how on the ball Sebum has to be to, to be the way he is versus a fat guy, he's not on the ball, he just eats whatever the fuck he wants, he doesn't even work out, see, see how much suffering, how much sacrifice, how much discipline that you have to have to get to that state, it's tough. But that's the point. Because if it wasn't tough, it wouldn't be worth doing. And so that's something I got to remind myself all the time. It's like, man, if it wasn't tough, it wouldn't be worth doing. So I'm happy that it's tough because that means I'm doing something right. Okay? And so I hope that my little, my little, um, I don't know what you want to call it. My little uh, uh, awakening, right? Has inspired you in some way, shape, or form to be like, oh my goodness, these bad days are actually good. They're required. They're needed. We need them in order to get to where we want to go in the first place. So it's like, these days are actually awesome, right? Anyways, that's a, that's a little update on the agency. Shit's been going bad, but it depends on how you define bad, right? It's been going bad by society's definition of bad. It's been going great by my definition. My agency has been going amazing by my definition. But listen, by society's definition, I've made no money and I've closed no clients. How could it possibly be going great? Well... It's because I've learned so much and I've learned a bunch of skills, a bunch of knowledge, a bunch of things that will allow me to make even more money and impact more people in the future. And I would argue that means it's going great, right? So listen, however you you want to define great, good, bad, ugly is totally up to you. But I think that what society defines as bad, what you guys might even define as bad, oh, you know, you've been running an agency for 12 days. I mean, I don't understand. I understand that, you know, running an agency for 12 days, having no clients is totally normal. I just want to put that out there, right? But it's like, people will say, oh, that's bad. You, you should have done this. You should have done that way. Oh, you're not doing too well. And it's like, by what metrics am I not doing well? I have learned more in the past 12 days than I have in the past X amount of months. I would argue it's going phenomenally well, right? Like if you have learned more in the past two weeks than you have in the past 12 months, it's like, I would say that is a huge win, a huge success. And so by all metrics in my books, the past 12 days have been phenomenal. Now on paper, they may not be good, right? The, the bank account doesn't reflect that it's good. The Stripe account doesn't reflect that it's good. The, the number of clients doesn't reflect that it's good, right? These things don't reflect that it's good. But there's intangible things that I define as amazing, define as good. And those are the lessons learned over the past 12 days going through what we've gone through. So listen, if you're still here with me, 12 minutes and 28 seconds into this YouTube video, first off, thank you. Okay, because it truly means the world to me that you guys sit here and take time out of your day to listen to me talk. I, like, I honestly can't thank you enough. It means the absolute world to me. Uh, as a young kid, I actually always wanted to be a YouTuber. If you scroll down my YouTube page, you'll see that as a young kid, I post a lot of YouTube videos. And it was one of my biggest goals to always be a YouTuber. Now, is that my end goal in life now? No. But, you know, seeing, like my younger self kind of fulfilled that dream now, like seeing back to, hey, I bet you the younger me would be proud that I'm, you know, posting YouTube videos and getting a couple hundred people to watch every video and comment and engage is very inspiring. And I bet that the younger version of me would be proud. And so I thank you if you're still watching this video because you are what makes my channel grow. And I appreciate that. Okay, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching these videos. And I hope that the time that you give me for watching this video is worth it, the value I provide. Okay, and I like to think so others, you probably wouldn't be here listening to me talk. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. Okay, thank you guys for being here. I hope that my, you know, authentic, oh, actually, you know what, there's one more thing. One of the biggest things I've learned lately is you got to be you. Now, wow, Stefan, super, wow, super original, right? I know it's cliche, but I like to think to some extent I'm a transparent, honest, open, and genuine person, right? To some extent, I like to, I like to think that. Okay, you got to be humble. Um, but I've realized that like, one of the biggest things in business, man, just be you. Be honest, be open, be transparent, be yourself, be who you are. Okay, because nobody else can be you. Nobody else can be you. <laughs> you know what? It's funny. We actually just booked an appointment. <laughs> Brian just booked an appointment. Okay, cool. Um, so look at that. There's there's light at the end of the tunnels, like you know, right? Things have been going bad. We've booked I don't even know how many appointments we booked today. Let's see. Already two appointments. In the last 30 minutes. Okay. See, things are going good, right? There's always light at the end of the tunnel, but you got to drive far enough to see the light. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. You just have to drive far enough to see the light. For all you know, you could be one corner away from seeing the light. But if you don't keep going, you'll never get there. So just keep pushing and eventually you'll make it there.
See you guys tomorrow for some more value or another story time. Who knows? Uh, but until then, stay working hard. You know, uh, stay being true to yourself. Uh, stay being positive. Give value. Share love, and just make a positive impact on this world. Remember to live with purpose. See y'all soon. Peace.